hello guys welcome to the channel and welcome back it's your girl Shao. as you can tell tonight from the title down below we will be talking about a luxury good so if that is your type of video if that is your thing stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like this type of content so without further ado i don't really want this to be super long let's jump right into the video okay so guys as you can see on the back on my bed um i do have a louis vuitton shopper and i will grab that really quick it just looks like this inside of it comes the receipt and a little drawer box yes i finally did it also also speaking about finally did it i also finally got my um never full gm which i did not do an unboxing for on my channel um it was actually crazy i noticed that i literally had no trace of that bag on my freaking channel when i was like going through it i think i was just looking at what's in my bags that i had on my channel that i had done on my channel and i was just like oh, i have not done a what's in my bag on my gm in the back night we are talking about none other than the louis vuitton victorine wallet as you can tell from the button i got mine to match my interior of my bag the color of the wallet is called fuchsia don't clock me if i'm wrong but i think it is and like i showed you guys it came with its own um obviously the receipt sleeve and the drawer box the little drawer box that holds it with its dust bag and all that good stuff all that jazz but i'm not even gonna fake the funk and try to do an unboxing for y'all because y'all i've been using this thing i probably had it for over a month now maybe a month and a half and i literally transferred out my wallet the same day that i got it so i ain't even gonna fake the funk for y'all and try to make it look cute and do the whole fake unboxing like i'm not gonna do that y'all know how i roll anyways let's get into the review you guys remembered I was trying so hard sometime last year not to buy this wallet as it is a whopping five something <clears throat> once you add tax to it it becomes six six something so essentially it's a six hundred dollar wallet and I was just like oh my gosh <laughs> there are so many different things I could be doing with the six hundred dollars than buying a wallet with it and I ended up doing a Michael Kors dupe video, which I will leave in the cards somewhere at the top, um, showing you guys the unboxing and kind of talking about that particular wallet. And I feel like you would be able to see the difference between the two as I continue on with this video. But long story short, even though the Michael Kors wallet had similarities to this one, it wasn't this one. And ultimately i just wanted this one so i bit the bullet and i got it looking at the wallet from the face front it has the beautiful envelope style i don't know what it is about envelope style anything but i am a sucker for envelope style wallets slgs you name it i love it so as you can see up close and up front we have the beautiful fuchsia button um for other people's reviews i've seen them talk about them being super careful and they how they open their wallets like this and all types of silliness to avoid touching the button because they don't want the button to wear my whole thing is you buy these things to use them so i'm not saying obviously throw it in the line of fire but i think your leather button wearing over time just due to regular wear and tear um is totally acceptable i've had my josephine for maybe four to five years now and or even more and even at its heaviest usage um i never noticed the button doing anything wonky so i don't know i kind of thought that was funny when i was watching other people's review of this that's just me though that's just me i just closed my shit it doesn't matter um when you open it it is a trifold wallet so you do have your first thingy here then you have your middle piece 
Um, you do have three card slots here. You have three card slots here. And then you have two return slips under here. So one here, the other one here. And then of course you have your zippered pocket with your leather tab for your coins. I personally do not keep coins in here. And then you also have your full length bill fold to put money. I don't typically walk with cash on me. So my billfold has nothing in here, but it just has coupons in here, to be honest. Coupons and a receipt. <laughs> but this is what the inside looks like. My particular one was made in Italy. So I thought that was cool just because um, this was the first piece that I ever got that's made in Italy. Normally the rest of my pieces say made in France. So when I got this, I thought it was super cool. I was like, oh my God, my shit made in Italy, period. But um, yeah, I just like it. I like the sleekness of it. I mean, as you can see, I have my cards here. Um, in this return slip, I have my, girl, why I got in here? I have a gift card to Red Lobster that I've had for literal years. I think one of my friends had given it to me many years ago for either my birthday or Christmas and I just never got around to using it at Red Lobster because where I live there isn't really a Red Lobster close to me. Nope. My storage card um, to remind me what the hell my code is because I never be remembering when I have to go in there girl. And then I have my insurance cards and stuff over here. Um, credit cards, driver's license, debit cards over here but I don't really use my debit cards. I just usually use my credit cards and then just pay them off at the end of the month so whatever um i just have debit cards just in case but that's that's what i carry in mind oh and i remember i told you guys i don't use my coin slot i don't all i have in there is my bj's membership card because i love to get my gas from bj's i use premium and Premium be expensive. I feed my baby premium. Premium is expensive. So my little BJ's card. And then I think I was being an old lady and I had something to do the other day that required stamps. So I have some forever stamps, right? You never know. You never know when you need to mail a letter to your long lost lover and you're gonna need some forever stamps. But yeah i love this this wallet i think it's perfect if you're anything like me and you typically don't um carry a lot of cars with you and you don't walk with cash per se um i think this wallet would be perfect um so far i haven't really seen any wear i'm anticipating that the majority of my wear is gonna be right here in this area where the wallet tends to flap to open um but so far the glazing looks perfect um and that's another thing i love i think they did a really good job with these um as far as not making the glazing too thick because it just opens and closes effortlessly the stitching looks perfect when i first got it though um the stitching was kind of weird I forgot where it was. Oh, I think in the outskirts over here, their stitching was a little, well, the stitching itself wasn't weird. It just had something weird on it. And I was just like, I don't know about that. But with use um, over time, it disappeared. Once you know which order your cards are in, you don't technically have to like flip open the wallet to get your card. You can just kind of like pull your most used cards from at the top if you know where they are um sometimes i do it sometimes i don't it just depends on what mood i'm in but um that is a thing my what you call it my cards oh my god the slots were so tight okay the slots were so tight when i got it about a month and a half ago whenever i got this that it was so hard, so, so hard to get the cards out. It has loosened up a little bit, but I even have moments sometimes, even now, where it's really hard for me to get my card out when I'm like 
ready to pay. Sometimes I just prime myself by getting the card that I'm going to use beforehand so that I'm not like <laughs> in the front of the line, you know, wilding, trying to get my card out because even though they gave a little bit, they're still very tight. Like for example, today, after I got my nails done, I was reaching for my credit card and one, even though I get gel, like this is um, gel over my acrylic, I was still very like cautious and wary because I just, in my head, I just always feel like it's gonna smudge even though it doesn't make sense because it's gel and it's cured. But I was like mad nervous to get my card out and it was fighting me. It was giving me a fight for my life, girl. So yeah almost two months later and it's still very tight. Some people that have had this wallet upwards of five years have been saying that sometimes, um, depending on how you use it, the um, like the slots can kind of give way and like start to peel forward. I obviously don't see any of that just yet because I have had this thing for less than three months, but I will also chalk that up to regular wear and tear. I feel like if you're going to be reaching into your wallet and pulling out cards, the motion itself, like over time, yeah, it'll make your card slot thing maybe, you know, bend a certain way. I don't know, but I love it. I tried to hold off on getting it because of how pricey it is, but I honestly think it's worth it. So if you have been thinking about this wallet and if you were anything like me trying to find every single dupe out there and spending more money on dupes <laughs> thinking that you will find the perfect dupe so that you'll stop thinking about it um don't waste your time i don't advise you to don't waste your time just bite the bullet and get it because it's absolutely perfect it's awesome because even with the michael kors one and i will do a comparison video with the two eventually but yeah i think i'll get a little bit more in depth in the michael kors comparison video with this one and you'll see the differences that i'm talking about but um use the thing you bought it use it that's what it's there for it's not there for you to baby it it's not there for you to be worried sick about things that would be categorized as regular wear and tear so that's all i have to say about it i love this wallet love 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 it if you would like to see more videos like this and of course stay tuned for my comparison between this and the michael kors dupe um stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye